Reed, you went in a little different direction with your latest NBA mock draft. Tell us about it. Look, all, all these people take mock drafts so daggone seriously. I did the opposite. I did a bizarro mock draft in, in which NBA teams and their general managers get a little crazy in that first round. And I have like six or seven trades just in that first round where everything just explodes on draft night. So the bizarro mock draft from Reed Forgrave. I don't know if Lex Luthor is going to make an appearance, but we'll find out right now, Reed. You've got two major trades inside the top three picks. Yeah, there's no Lex Luthor, but I do think that Danny Ainge has some special evil powers in being able to swing this trade. Danny Ainge of the Celtics sends just a ton of picks to the Indiana Pacers. In exchange, uh, the Celtics basically get the piece that they need to contend with the Cavs. They get Paul George, and they also get Al Jefferson. In exchange, Indiana gets the number one overall pick. Obviously, they're going to take Markel Fultz, start that rebuild on a really high note. And uh, they also get a couple of second rounders in this year's draft, a couple of flyers. And then uh, at the first rounder in 2019, they're also going to take on Amir Johnson's $12 million contract as a favor. The second big trade in my crazy bizarro first round, Sacramento and Philly flip picks. Sacramento ends up moving up two slots to the number three pick. Uh, and then they also get Jaleel Okafor, a guy that Philly has been trying to unload forever. Uh, Philly ends up trading down. They get Ben McLemore, a player who I think uh, has been unfairly maligned, certainly hasn't had a great career in with the Kings. But remember, when he came in, he was supposed to be Ray Allen Light. I think both of these players, with a change of scenery, uh, can end up finding some su success in their new place. Read one more blockbuster trade for us to cover in your bizarro mock draft, this one involving the Trailblazers and the Orlando Magic. Look, the Trailblazers have three mid to late first round picks, but do they really need mid to late first rounders? I don't think so. I think they need a star. And what they do in this bizarro scenario is they take all three of their mid to late first rounders, 15, 20, and 26, send them all to Orlando to get the number six pick in this draft, get a guy who I think could be a star someday in Arizona's Lowry Markkinen. Uh, this way, Orlando can get lots of pieces. What that team needs is assets. What the Blazers need is one more star to really be able to make a run in the playoffs.